Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. And today I am going to be sharing with you a bag of yarn from my local yarn shop that I had gotten a while back, having forgotten that I got it and didn't show you guys until I was looking for my almost 1500 subscriber giveaway yarn, which you guys saw that video already a couple days ago. I think a couple days ago because I recorded this the same day as that one. I know I tell you guys my trade secrets, but I recorded it the same day as that one, but didn't decide when I was going to post this one. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm always... Anyway, um, I would love to welcome all of our new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you so incredibly much for all of your time and support and everything. You guys are amazing. Um, I think I forgot to turn down my air. <laughs> I'm a little warm, as per usual. Anyway, um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, of course, if you are new, I hope you enjoy this video and consider hitting the red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that. And if you guys wouldn't mind liking, commenting, and sharing, that would be very much appreciated. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm also going to be announcing May's surprise giveaway winner, which the surprise giveaway winners are always chosen from my, well, from any any of my Monday and Wednesday videos from last year, other than like the tag videos and stuff that I did, but ones that had to do with like small business and telling me what your favorite stuff was, and from any of my videos this year. So, I mean, it could be something from last January, it could be something from Sunday, it could be whatever the case is. So make sure that you always comment on my videos because you never know which video it may be that gets chosen for the surprise giveaway winner. And I do still have, I think, a couple more months left of um, donations for surprise giveaways from small businesses. So I'm really excited about that. I thought it was going to be ending kind of soon. I may have to start adding something from myself just so that it could be kind of even from like the, but anyway, you guys know that's what I do. So anyway, all right, I will announce that winner just remind me I know right like you can remind me I'm pre-recording this but I'm getting your subliminal messages I, I, I I'm connected with a few of you like that you know anyway okay so let's go ahead and get started actually I'm gonna put this box right here so that hopefully when I look down I'll remember to go through it but now that I think about it I don't have anything to put this yarn into so that it doesn't get all miley fied all right I'm gonna have to think about this. I may have to pause this for a second so I could go grab something to put this into um, or I'll wing it. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So anyway, I have this bag of yarn that, oh my goodness, look at those colors. That is so awesome. I think some of the colors are getting a little blown out, but that's okay because they're fun anyway. So um, let's see here. Let's just go ahead and dive right into this. I was debating on whether or not to have thrown this into a giveaway, but I decided to keep it. Um, it's 100% cotton, and I don't know that I've ever made anything non-kitchen um, out of 100% cotton, but it is a soft cotton. Let's see. This is by Sardar, which I love Sardar. It's the Beachcomber. It's 100% cotton. It's a double knitting, so it's a DK, although it, it varies in size. It goes from thinner to thicker. Um, not necessarily a roving, but um, anyway, it's 50 grams. It's There's 100, approximately 153 yards, 100% cotton. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I need to tell you? Wash dark color separately because, you know, it can bleed. The I don't think there's a color name. And truthfully, unless SH stands for color number, it's 252. I don't know, but it doesn't say color. Anyway, so like I said, there's 153 yards approximately to each of these, and I have five of them. So I've been given a suggestion of maybe, okay, that looks like fluorescent hot pink. It's not. It's more of a, it's hot I don't know that I would quite categorize it as a hot pink, but it's a really nice, beautifully, beautiful pink. Yeah, everywhere I'm doing it, it's it's blowing out like hot pink. Um, let's see if I go ahead and put a cast a shadow on it. Nope, that makes it too dark. 
Anyway, it's a beautiful pink, okay? But I've had a shawl mention. Well, how many yards did I say? 153 times five. So that's three, seven, fifty. 750 what is it 750 um 65 ish i don't know right now i can't really think but anyway so yeah probably a scarf a scarf would be nice or a shawl would be nice maybe a scarf if i do it like a pretty like um simple stitch maybe i don't know i wish it wasn't blowing out so much because although like here it's not quite as bad like he or here it's like really hot pink here it's a little bit more subdued um but it's beautiful here's so you can see what i mean as far as the thinner and thicker uh, but it does look like it has like a thread wrapped around it it may not even be a thread but it, it looks like it uh but it's beautiful and it's very soft for cotton it's very very soft uh, so yeah, so I've got five of those. Okay, I'm gonna try to balance this on my lap. Let's see how I do. All right, then I have two of these, which I was toying back and forth. Do I give it away? Do I keep it? But I just I had to keep it. It's a Barocco, and I love Barocco. It's the uh, Brielle, and. It's 50% cotton, 17% polyester, 16% acrylic, 10% wool, and 7% alpaca. There's 126 yards. So that's what? 1, uh, 40, 52? 252-ish? I don't know. You could correct me if I'm wrong. But it is stunning, and I was talking to somebody, they suggested how about a, um, again, in a simple simple stitch, but how about um, a cowl? Now these, when, I'm, when I asked, was asking about suggestions for these, it would be for me to make something to sell, not to keep. I don't really wear a lot of crocheted items because I'm always so hot as it is to wear something, like to add something to myself. It was like, what a, no way, Jose. Maybe if I was traveling up north in the middle of winter, okay, a hat, gloves, shawl, you know, then I could see it. But for here in Florida, I don't think so. <laughs> as much as I love the idea, nope. Um, but anyway, look at that. Is that not beautiful? I mean, look at this halo. It is very pretty and very soft. Now, there is, it's not really a sparkle, but it does have a little bit of a shine in that with that gold in here and I'm guessing that's probably the the polyester maybe I don't know but I thought this was very very pretty and it is so super soft it's just really really fun and the I mean cotton is the number one I mean is the highest percentage of fiber in here but it's just so pretty and that halo is gorgeous 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 um, so yeah I'm thinking probably a cowl or maybe fingerless gloves I don't know I'm still toying with the idea on that next the, okay I love Arcania it's one of my okay I have a lot of favorite brands if you haven't noticed I have a lot of favorite brands um, Arcania is one of them uh, this is the Nuble. It's an extra fine merino wool and silk um, combo. It's 75% extra fine merino wool, 25% silk. The color is number 107. I believe I have at least, I believe I have like two other colorways in this particular um, yarn without even realizing I did it, but because I love it so much, I'm not surprised that I did, that it happened over the last like probably year or so. But I did get this on sale. It is, um, this one is more of a roving style, but look, oh, that color's a little blown out, but there is a variation in colors. I don't know if you can see that, like it's darker here, lighter here. Um, it's more, it's not quite orange. I don't want to say it's orange. Like it's not a true orange. It's more of like a burnt orange, maybe I'd say, but can you see the, ver the, um, um, like the tone tonality of it? Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love it so much. And this is so extremely soft. It's not funny. It's just so beautiful. I mean, look at that. And you see the little bit of sheen to it. Plus it's got the halo. 
Um, but is this not gorgeous? Is this not gorgeous? OMG, I love it. And our, like I said, our Kanye, I cannot believe these were discounted. I cannot believe it. They were more than half off at the time. And OMG, like, I wish I had gotten like everything that they had in this because it's just beautiful. Now, I don't know. It may have just been the certain colorways that were, you know, discounted. Um, but yeah. Anyway, okay, so two of those. I'm not quite sure what I plan to do with these two. Now, this I would seriously want to consider keeping. So it would have to be something very light. Oh, wait, I didn't tell you yardage. 272 yards. So, I mean, there's a there's a decent amount of yardage here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But the, <laughs> look at the color. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> Yay! Okay. This one is stunning, and it's an Arcania also. Uh, this is the Alumco, Alumco, um, a reflection on the water is what it says. It's hand painted cotton viscose blend. It's 50% cotton, 50% viscose. I love viscose. I love bamboo. Um, 215 yards. Now I only have one of these. Now it says it's a it's a three weight. Truthfully, I would say it's a thin four. But OMG, wait until you see this. This is like killer. I'm telling you, it's amazing. It is, look at that. Do you see this, the nice sheen in there? OMG, is this not stunning? Oh, <gasps> be still my heart. This would be, I would want to make something for me as well in this, but it, there was only one, one in this colorway. I mean, I was so sad, and this one was my favorite one, um, and it was a, it was uh, not quite half off, but look, I mean, look at this. Th this reminds me of like a jester, like something jestery, but I have no idea what to make with it, especially only having, uh, what was it, 215 yards, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Alrighty then, that I think I'm going to leave for the end. Let me get these out of the bag. Uh -huh, I'm still able to keep this all on my lap, surprisingly so. <laughs> Yay, Miley came in here to say hi to her peeps. Alright, now this one is Debbie Bliss. It's a pure bliss collection. This one is Sitta. It's mulberry silk and mako cotton. It's 45% silk, 40% cotton, 15% polyamide. There are... Uh, the color is 67008, and there's 125 in, uh, yards in each, and I have three, so that's 375 yards. Um, where was this one made? doesn't say where this was made. I guess that's not important, but anyway, this is a chain spun. Look at that. Do you see the chains, the chain spun, spinning, spinning? whatever. <laughs> Can you see how it's chain spun there? Oh, I love it. It is so airy and soft. This is so amazingly soft. I mean, so amazingly soft. Gorgeous. Now, as far as the color, it's really more of a coral. In the, in the camera, to me, it looks orange but it's actually more of a coral and it's just so absolutely stunning. So soft, so fluffy. Oh, that's why I love chain spun. It just makes it so airy and soft. And oh, let me just tell you, look at that. Is that not amazing? This is like awesome sauce. Oh wow, this one on the end looks a little bit different. No, here it doesn't, but in camera it does. Interesting. But is this not gorgeous? Oh, I could just sit here and pet it all day or all night. I could just pet it and pet it and pet it. Okay, now I'm starting to lose things. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Let me get this out and put some of this back. But suggestions on this, 375 yards of a chain spun. It categorizes it. It doesn't categorize it. I would categorize it as a four for sure, like a thick four. Um, so any ideas on that would be appreciated. Same thing with the two Arcania, and then I have a cowl set for that, and either a scarf or a shawl for the cotton. All right, now, 
This one is amazingness. I think it's amazingness personally, but it's organic. It's organic with a K, naturally pure. It's the fiber company. It's 70% organic merino, 15% baby alpaca, 15% silk. Yum. There's 98 yards and I only have three of them. It's made in Peru. So, you know, so that's what, 294 yards, I think, right? Did I do that correctly? But look at this. Look at this amazingness. Look at how gorgeous that is. You see the halo? Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> and this, co this color isn't coming out true to color. It's more of like a bright, it's a brighter green, not like, like, not like that kind of green, but I mean, it's a beautiful, it's like, it, it's actually brighter. Okay. There, maybe it's more true than here. I can't quite tell, but look at that. Is that not amazing? This is so amazingly soft. So soft. Oh, oh it's so soft. What is it again? 70% organic merino, 15% baby alpaca, 15% silk. Oh, and the color name is algae. That's actually a really good color name for it. Algae. Is that not gorgeous? So again, I've got what? 296 yards. Is that what I said? There's 98 yards each. So ideas for this as well would be great. Oh, I love it. But anyway, so that was the yarn haul that I forgot I had to show you that has been around for a little while, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really warm now. Um, I get really worked up when it comes to yarn. Can you tell? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I hope you loved it. Let me know what your favorite was. It, I mean, it could be any of it. It could be all of it. It could be what, I mean, none of it. Um, but let me know what your favorite is. I'd love to know that. And um, yeah, so I know, okay, there's a yarn up here. It's actually caked up that I know if I saw it on somebody's scape, I'd be like, OMG, what is it? I wonder if you guys can figure, I mean, if you guys would be in any way possibly intrigued by it as much as I would be. Um, but yeah, I thought I didn't not, I didn't find it. I knew exactly where it was, but I finally took it out of the bag to put it out and OMG, I want to make something with it. But yeah, it was my dream yarn. Like, yeah, cause it was very expensive, but my mom bought it for me for my birthday because she's like, I want you to be able to experience getting something like that once or not my birthday this year. It was like two years ago, I think, but yeah. It's amazing. Okay, sorry. Anyway, I know you guys want to know who the surprise giveaway winner is for May, but um, I may have to pause this in a second and then restart because I don't have much room on my camera. But um, anyway, or I'm, I'm on my phone. So May's surprise giveaway winner is winning. You're going to get one sticker from... Craig with Universe in the UK. He does all the pun pins and stickers and everything. This is the Minted Lamb. Is that not cute? It's a vinyl sticker. It's adorable. Minted Lamb. I just love his stuff. I love his puns and everything else. Um, so you get that sticker. You get the set of six pens. Make your mark from, I think this was from Hobby Lobby, but are those not cute? But they're, um, it looks like they are, you know, retractable pens and they've got the erasers on there. I think, I swear they're pens. I don't think it's pencils. Oh, wait, no, they're mechanical pencils. Never mind. Mechanical pencils. Hello, they have erasers, right? <laughs> anyway, so you get this pack of six pencils. Then you get this little, I think it'd be cute for a notions pouch. I mean, I don't think it was designed as a notions pouch, but I think it's adorable for one. And of course it's blingy because I picked it out. But look at that with all the sequins. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And it's got little ears. Look at that. Is that not adorable? <laughs> and hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's holographic on the bottom to OMG. <gasps> I'm like in a trance now. You all know I'm obsessed with hollow. <laughs> Yay! And it's just pink inside. But um, 
it could be a notion pouch or makeup bag or whatever you want for it but i just thought it was adorable look it's got the hollow on top too <laughs> okay now i'm sure you probably want to know if there's yarn in it in this um prize there is um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pause and come right back so that i don't have to get cut off in the middle and then you know what i mean so i'll be right back don't go anywhere okay i'm back <laughs> all right so i went ahead and kept these two hanks together even though i don't know that they were actually designed for to go together but they sent two hanks um so this is it's from gem state yarns and notions they do amazing work um, but I went ahead and did, kept them together since they did, um, send them at the same time. It could have been for two different giveaways, but I figured what the heck. And since the last couple were a single Hank with like a project bag or whatever from small businesses, I wanted to make this at least something significant from the small business. So this one is from Gem State. They're both from Gem State Yarns. Um, this one is 70% superwash merino, 30% nylon. This one is called Choco Park, uh, machine wash, cold air dry flat. Um, <clears throat> it says it's fingering weight. It's 100 grams and 437 yards. To me, well, I guess this is fingering. It just looks a little bit thicker, but it does come with a stitch marker. It's got a lobster claw clasp. There's the stitch marker. And then there's this yarn which I thought was really pretty with these greens and like taupes. I guess it would be more taupe than like brown. There are browns in here also, but you see the speckling. It's beautiful. They do really great work. Um, definitely go check them out. I'll put their link in the description box below, so make sure to check them out. Um, and then the second Hank is 100% Superwash Merino. It's a sport weight and it's 328 yards. Uh, and it's called Bubblegum. It also has a stitch marker to go with it. Also a lobster claw clasp. And it is a seahorse. Adorable. And here is this colorway. It is bubblegum, like the ice cream. Pink with, you know, the blue speckles and the yellow and the pinks and the everything. Is that not adorable? So this is a sport weight. And then this is a fingering weight. I mean, I suppose you could use, eh, I don't know. But you could do what you want with it. They're gonna be yours. So, look at that, look at that color. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, these are so pretty. I mean, these aren't typically my colors, but I still appreciate them and think they're beautiful. So, uh-oh, my mom is cut. Sorry guys, I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Sorry guys, I had, to, I had to go and see if she was okay or if she needed anything, but anyway, everything's fine. So the winner, look at me, I'm all warm. The winner of the May surprise giveaway that gets two of the Gem State yarns, the little pouch and the sticker and the pack of six mechanical pencils is congratulations, Evelyn Oxner. I so appreciate you. I'm so excited for you. And I hope you're not allergic to wool. <laughs> if you are, please let me know. I'll, I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. But I'm so excited for you. Thank you so incredibly much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. I know you've been subscribed to me for a while. So thank you so, so much for everything. Um, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com with your, or to let me know you saw the video and to claim your prize. And if you can please send me your information, your full name, address, Email address and phone number. I can't remember if I have you in my address book or not. But regardless, I need you to go ahead and email me to go ahead and claim your prize. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, let me know what your favorite is. Also, you know, I would just love to know if anybody would be as intrigued, intrigued as I would be for one of the yarns up here that's caked. Um, I know I would be asking about it. I'm not, you guys don't have to ask about it. I'm just curious if you guys would notice it as much as I would notice it if it was in somebody else's escape. So anyway, have a great night. Miley did come in here. I don't know if you heard her, but she came in here to say hi and bye to her peeps. Um, as always, my mom and I both thank you so incredibly much for all the continued 
positive thoughts and prayers for her and her treatments and everything. She has another one coming up next week. Um, also for myself and Miley and all of our friends that we've asked for. Um, most of them are fiber arts related, but thank you so much for that. Remember for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And as always, if you need extra prayers but don't want to share publicly, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. We will add you to our private prayer list. And if you're okay with me sharing it and asking for prayers anonymously, let me know and I will. Otherwise, we'll just keep it private. But I think I got everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, let me know what your favorite is. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you all so incredibly much for everything. I so greatly appreciate every single one of you. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.